In this video, we are going to see the difference between var, const and let. Var was found in pre-ES6 code. If you have ever seen any JavaScript code which was written back in 2000s or maybe late 90s, you will see var being used as a keyword to declare variables. Var is something we should always try to avoid in our JavaScript code because it can introduce bug in our JavaScript code. On the other hand, const is used to create constant identifiers whose values cannot be changed. Let is used to create block scoped variables in JavaScript. We'll now go to a computer screen and see what let, where and const are, why we should avoid where, why we should try to use const as much as possible and why we should use let instead of where to declare a variable which might change later. Let's get started. <laughs> So in a previous video, I showed you what variables are, how to choose the names of the variable. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between var, let and const. Let me show you something. I've created a file right here and the name of the file which I created is 03 underscore let var const because I am naming all the files with the video number so that you can find the corresponding code for a given video. Now let me show you what is var. Var is a classic way of creating a variable in JavaScript. If you want to create a variable in JavaScript, all you have to do is you can do something like this var a is equal to 34. And here is your um, variable. GitHub Copilot is suggesting me a lot of things. So I'm not taking the suggestions for now. Var a is equal to 34 means that create a variable and store 34 inside of that variable. As simple as that. Uh, no confusion so far. Okay, var is a keyword which is present in JavaScript from very early days. This was a keyword which was available to us since the inception of JavaScript. And this is a classic way of creating a variable in JavaScript. But there are some limitations with var, which is it might introduce some of the bugs in your programs. Now you might think that why do we care about that? Why can't we just use var? There is a lot of convenience function which we get after using const and let and I'll show you what that convenience is. So before we get started, let me show you the notes var versus let in JavaScript. Var is globally scoped while let and const are block scoped. I'll show you what this means. If I say var a is equal to 34 and I do something like this, console.log a, no prizes for guessing, you'll get 34 printed. Okay. Now if I change var with let, nothing changes. Nothing changes at all. And you will say, oh, why? Why why, why are we even using let then? I'll show you why we should use let and const instead of var. Now, since I have let a is equal to 34, if I create a block, this block might be an if statement, this block might be a while loop, for loop, it can be any block. Okay, if I do something like this, let a is equal to 45. And if I do something like this, console.log a, what is going to happen? Firstly, 34 is going to print on the screen and then 45 is going to print on the screen as you have already seen. Okay, now if I change this to var and if I do something like this, if I do something like this and let me also change this to var. Now, if I do something like this, you'll see 34, 45, 45. But if I change these to let, you'll see that the output will change. So instead of 34, 45, 45, we'll get 34, 45, 34. What is happening? Why did the output change? Let me explain you why we use let. So var is a classic way of declaring variable in JavaScript. Let a is equal to 34 means that a is going to be 34 inside of this block. Now this is the global scope. This is not inside any block. So a is going to be 34 and the scope of a is going to be global. When we come inside of this block, A is 45, but within this block, it has nothing to do with the global A. Okay. Now, if I print A or if I try to change A, if I try to do something like this, this A is not going to change. This A, which is a global A, has no relation at all with this block scope A. So if I run this program, you'll see that 34, 9, 34 is printed. But when we say where A is equal to 34, what happens is, I'm basically creating a global variable a which is 34 and I'm redeclaring a with 45 which means that the global a is going to change. So I'm basically changing my global a to 9. If I run this, this is going to print 34, 9 and 9. There is no concept of block scope when we use var but when we use let, 
the scope of the variable is within that block only what is the advantage of this what what kind of advantage do we get by using let I'll show you. Let us say you say where a is equal to 34. You can once again say where a is equal to 89. This is not going to throw any error, but this should ideally throw some error because accidentally you might change or redeclare the same variable which might introduce bugs in your program. So as a rule of thumb, we try to avoid using where and we always focus on let and const. So where is something we are going to avoid. Let me write here, avoid where avoid using var okay now because it can be overridden okay so this is something that go github copilot is suggesting and it's amazing i love it okay let me come back to the notes and show you some of the properties of let var and cost so var as we already saw you can redeclare it you can store anything inside of it this is globally scoped uh, and let in const are block scoped. Now, where can be updated and redeclared within its scope, which is not a good thing. You should not be able to redeclare a variable in JavaScript, but if you are using where, you will be able to redeclare. So we should use let in const for this reason, because if you are able to redeclare a variable, you might even do it accidentally. And if you are accidentally redeclaring a variable, this might induce bugs in your program. We don't want that. Now, let can be updated, but not redeclared. I'll show you this. If I do something like this, let b is equal to 4, I can always say b is equal to 9, but I cannot say let b is equal to 98 once again. This will throw an error because b is already defined. b is already defined. You cannot say let b is equal to 98 once again. But if you use var, you can do this. Okay. So you, you, you cannot do this with let. Coming back to the notes, const can neither be updated nor be redeclared. If I'm using something like this, now let me show you const. If I do something like this, const a is equal to 45. And if I do something like this, console.log a, I think this is going to throw an error because I've already used identifier a. Yes, it is throwing an error. Let me let me change it to ca. ca means constant a. Okay, let me see if it's printing 45. Yes, it prints 45. Can I change ca is equal to 787? Now this is showing me some... Uh, comments this will throw an error because ca is already defined okay so ca is already defined and it is throwing an error you cannot change the value of a constant variable in fact i should not even call it a variable constant is a constant it's not variable you cannot change the value of a constant identifier is something i should say so const c is equal to 45 will store 45 inside of the ca variable but if i say c is equal to 787 you cannot do that because this is a constant and its value will remain the same throughout the program. If I change this const to let, will I be able to change the value? Will I be able to bypass the error? The answer is yes. I'll be able to bypass the error because now I can change the value of CA. But with const, you cannot change the value of CA. Okay, I hope you were able to understand that. Now point number five and six, where variables are initialized with undefined, whereas let, and const variables are not initialized with const you always have to initialize so let me show you if you if you do let a a b b if you do let or rather var b b and const c c you cannot do const c c because you will have to give it a value you cannot leave it just declared and not initialized this is something which is going to throw an error because c c is already defined no because cc is not defined is not given a value okay this will throw an error because cc is not given a value you should give a value to cc now if i print aa it will be undefined if i print bb it will be undefined okay i hope that helps if i do console dot log aa bb and this will throw an error so let me comment this and if I run this program, it's throwing an error. Why? Why? Okay, because I'm changing a constant here. Let me run this program now and it will not throw an error. So undefined, undefined. Okay. Point number six says const must be initialized during declaration unlike let and var. So you should initialize const. We already saw that. You cannot just leave const cc like this. 
you will have to give it a value if you don't give it a value you are going to get an error so i hope that you were able to understand the difference between let var and const as a rule of thumb we will avoid var and we'll always use let and const in our javascript programs so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you haven't already accessed this playlist make sure you do that thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time